Hello and welcome to the channel. If you've been enjoying my Into the Radius videos, you'll know that one of my criticism struck feedbacks on the game was things such as the monocle and the rifle scopes were so jerky and shaky that it was almost impossible to use them at distance and in fact a lot of the times with the sniper rifles I find it easier to set the scope off completely which defies the whole point of having one on there so it got me thinking would it be easier in game if we had a virtual gun mount and there is a plethora of these out now all over the place and this particular one I've also when they first came out, I bought a bipod as well, which attaches on the end. We're going to see whether this makes it any smoother for you to, to use your weapons in-game. Obviously, it's no good for the pistols, but for the rifles. What we're going to do is we're going to test it without, then we're going to put this on, and then we're also going to test it with the bipod and rest it on a chair or a table and see whether we can be any more effective out there in the radius being a stalker with scoped rifles. We won't be trying this out in the field today, but we will be trying this at Battle HQ. So we have the Tiger Rifle, or as most of us know this, the SVD. So the first test we're going to do is right down at the far end on the workbench, there's a little cardboard box. And we're going to grip this as normal and just bring it up and hold it in the right firing position with our left arm further out in front of us. Just as you would see in virtual reality, in all honesty. And we're going to see if we can get it on that box at the far distance and hold it steady and as you can see it is shaking all over the place and I'm actually looking down the left eye rather than the right eye on the recording so what we'll do this time is I'll hold it further back on the stock and I'll bring my elbow into my waist we won't have any chicken arms as we would fire a real assault rifle or a real rifle we will hold ourselves in making the smallest target and see if having that left elbow on our waist gives us any more support at all and I can already tell it is jerkyville, jerk train all over the place. So what we'll do next is I will close this all down and I will attach the controllers to the gun mount and see if that improves anything. Let's go. The gun. So I've got the gun mount here next to me and I'm just going to put those in. So as you can see there, both the controllers are now locked in on that tripod and the arms are extremely steady and it's just a matter of snapping each hand out there we go so there's our first problem is that the angle of the actual controller on that uh, gun mount does not clarify and meet up with the hands in real world but this is no issue we can just take the headset off get the allen key out and start to adjust these and see if we can get this to be more locked in with the position in real life of where your hands would be but what we could also do is actually just test this now, even though the hand is in the wrong position here for me. It still means that I should be able to hold the weapon fairly steady without it looking real for you in game when you're actually viewing this. If you've never tried a gun mount in virtual reality, they are highly recommended, especially if you use the same weapon in other games such as Onward. It really does feel like you're holding a rifle. So I'm trying to look down the side. Now the issue I've got now is, is that I can't get the headset close enough to where the scope would be in real life on the mount. It's bashing in and I can't move it. So there's going to be a lot of adjustments needed on this. So I'll get my toolkit out and we'll jump straight back. So by the power of Grayskull, here we go. I've taken it off. I've adjusted all the settings and the hands are in the perfect position. And the bipod and the rifle actually line up pretty much one to one. I have had to twist the back shoulder mount so that we can get the the headset to be able to look down the actual sight unit but this really does feel like I'm holding a rifle it's not quite as heavy of course and you could put some weights on the bar but it really does feel like I'm holding this tiger rifle in my hands right now in virtual reality absolutely fantastic so let's just get the hand in the right position as you can see we can take the hand off really easily still gonna have to do a bit of adjustment at the back here if there were some adjustments in this game such as there are in contractors it would be a vast improvement so let's just see if this helps somewhat and have a look down the site I've got a funny feeling this isn't gonna help either no for some reason the game seems to be moving the rifle when I get too close to the site unit never fear ladies and gentlemen give me a minute I'm gonna tweak this Unfortunately, it's still jerking all over the place, making it very, very difficult. 
So I think it's time for us to get the bipod out. The bipod is now attached on the front there. And um, I'm going to be resting this on a chair in my room. And as you can see how steady that is before I even put this other controller in, which really won't make any difference at this stage. Let's have a look down the site and see if this makes any difference. And unfortunately, no, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So it's just something that we're going to have to live with. It may be that the way it's been programmed that we're magnifying so far in that any small micro microscopic movements at our end are just magnified a thousand times at the far end. It's probably going to be a technical, a technical limitation at this stage and will probably result in quite a bit of work for the developers to do when there are so many other things to do. So I don't hold out anytime soon for this to be fixed, but it would be fantastic if this could be implemented as it means that the scopes and the sniper rifles and everything else at distance become really effective because this issue affects the monocles as well. I'm really enjoying this title at the minute. It's definitely got a stalker vibe mixed in with Daisy and escape from Tarkov and hopefully if sales are improved and they go up that means more money for the developers to start putting extra features in. It must be very difficult once they've sold a title to then have all the customers wanting well we want this 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 and this and this because obviously nobody else is putting any more money in so even if it became as a very low priced say DLC four or five pounds for quite a big feature set I'd be more than willing and I'm sure the people out there are really passionate about this game growing I'm sure they would as well. Hope you've enjoyed this video, more Into the Radius videos coming soon and if you've got a suggestion for a title here on the channel that you'd like me to play, please do let me know as I'm really enjoying virtual reality at the minute. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, thumbs up, likes and shares and I'll see you on the field, no doubt, and some more videos from me, Box of Demons. Bye bye.